Well, hello there and happy Freedom Friday to all of my Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a bonus reading. So Capricorns, mark your calendar on Saturday, January the 13th. I will be doing another giveaway. So you're so I will announce it on Saturday the 13th. So mark your calendars and set your notifications to all. Just want to get that out of the way. I don't think I gave you all the questions for the moon in Aquarius um, in your previous reading, but this is a bonus reading. So happy Freedom Friday to each and every one of you all. The moon is um, currently in Aquarius, right? So what you and Aquarius share in common is your ruling planet, uh, Saturn. Saturn is the planet of authority and maturity. You're now on the other side of this portal. You're in the new you, new moon, new year for some of you all, new, new beginning, new attitude, all of those things. So purge whatever you had to leave behind. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. When the moon moves into Aquarius, it really detaches us from every the everyday it distances us from the known reality it really makes us spread our wings and start to think okay what are we here for the main question you want to ask yourselves in this moon in aquarius is what is stopping you from living your ideal life what is stopping you what is stopping you because it's not another human being but what is stopping you from living your ideal life it's not your manager at work it's not your spouse it's not your it's not your kids. It's not It's not those things. What's inside of you? Because it's you versus you. So let's do it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Capricorn, happy birthday to each and every one of you all. And thank you to those who have been sending me messages, letting me know that you received your gifts in the mail. Yes, right. Thank you for letting me know. Hopefully it is helpful. First card out of the deck is the temperance card. Yep. This is leading your reading. Here we also have the God card. Here we also have the Three of Wands. Here we also have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and also the Six of Wands. Capricorns. Capricorns, Capricorns. Here we have the God card. We also have the Page of Wands. We also have the Three of Wands. We also have the Six of Wands, right? So all of this adds up to source saying, okay, now that you've awakened from a nightmare of being burned out, frustrated, reactive in the past, past could have been recent past, it could have been a year ago, two years, 20, 30 years ago, whatever. But now that you've awakened from a nightmare and recognize that you need time to process things, you all are a divine feminine sign. Family is very important to you all, whether it's your blood relatives, your friendship family, whatever, family is important work family, church family, whatever is very, very important to you all. But now that you're back in the saddle and away from energies who want you to <clears throat> idolize them in a sense as if, the, if, they're, if they are a God or they are your God, let me just say that they are your God and cause you to be quite reactive and, um, and instead of responsive, that was a lesson for somebody to never stay in spaces until they get to this part, this point right here, where it's a nightmare, either speak up and demand what you want, respect, and just recognize that you don't have to stay in any places that's making you miserable, right? Whether it's your home life, you know, with your, a lot of times, even though family is very important, some people will still go to family affairs, family functions because it's family and you're miserable, Sources, stop doing that. The new you is not going to do that anymore. And if you need to explain to anybody why, because it may, it doesn't add to my joy. <laughs> That's your answer. It doesn't add to my joy. It doesn't add to my creativity. It doesn't add to my adaptability, my fertility, my um, emotional range. It doesn't add to my money. It doesn't add to my career success. It takes away. It's the opposite. It takes away from all of those things. It takes away from your patience. It takes away from your vitality. It just takes away. So why would you stay in this place? Be, why would you not leave before it gets to be a nightmare? So that's what somebody has learned. It's like you're not going to stay in places till you're burned out. So yeah. So I don't need to ask the card questions, more information about those types of energies because you already know those types of energies. Why would you stay in those spaces? For you, because 
Um, earth, the element of earth deals with the physical existence of things. You got to ask yourself, am I staying in this because of money? Am I staying in this because my head and heart are at war with each other? If there's any confusion, we know that the devil is the author of confusion. That's where you ask source for an exodus strategy on the other side of this. Before it gets to be a nightmare, source, give me an exodus strategy out of this. I don't want to be a nightmare to anyone else right? This is two sides to the sword. If you're living a nightmare, you don't even realize you're a nightmare to other people. So sources say, before you get to a point of burnout, when it's that, okay, let me sit down with a sheet of paper and a pencil and let me write or a pen or whatever, or my, my keyboard or whatever. And let me start marking the days. Okay. If I hate going into this job 10 times out of 10, whether you realize it or not, you're, you're a nightmare to somebody else. If you hate you know, going to family functions, 10 times out of 10, you're a nightmare to the people you're going to, you may have a smile on your face, but your energy reeks of misery. So that's what you're going to change on this other side. That's how you're going to make room. You're leaving bridges burned. You're leaving bridges burned, living your absolute best life now that you're on the other side of a long and arduous journey. So I'm seeing um, partnership in business and or in love. Here we have the uh, death rebirth card. Here we have the lover's card. The Hermit card, the Emperor card, the Ace of Cups, and also the Eight of Cups, right? So you're going through a rebirth, definitely going through a rebirth. And remember, I said this card right here is attached to um, Scorpio, by uh, Pluto by way of Scorpio. Um, these two cards right here share, this is Aries and this is uh, Scorpio. These two cards right here share Mars, which is the Tower card. So we're going to put these right here. We're going to put these right here. Something that has been unhealthy for you and has caused you a lot of wounding is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Both of these cards right here are Aries cards right here, right? And, and what's here is something is over. Finally over, 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 over. Like I said, when you're dealing with energies, it's their way or the highway. Doesn't matter we're not talking about any Aries in particular, but when you're dealing with any er energies that is impulsive and vain and have landed on the dark side of their emotions uh, for whatever reason, and you did it the situation or you've moved on from the situation, it's finite. It's over. You step through the portal. You're done with it because the energies jump to conclusions about you, jump to conclusions about other people, trying to put a blowtorch up under you, causing you to have possible digestive issues. Uh, low self-esteem, um, cause you to be timid or enraged easily and those kind of things. That's why I talk about water so much. Like when you think about like in terms of losing weight, right? When you think about like in terms of losing weight, like even losing the weight of toxicity. And I, that's why I talk about listening to water sounds in the background, drinking more water, right? So even when you're trying to lose weight, it's hard to lose weight if you're dehydrated. If you're staying in the very same place, that has caused you burnout and you're, you're refilling with more caffeinated drinks, you know, drinking more coffee, drinking more, um, you know, caffeinated teas, eating more sugar, you know, drinking more alcohol, anything that's adding to your dehydration. Source is saying to you, everything but leaving that bridge burn and hydrating yourselves with water right getting away flushing all of that out working it out flushing it out right and so it's also going to help moving forward uh somebody feel much better about themselves in your hermit mode source is the one that's saying to you downloading messages to you these two cards right here are ruled by mercury so now that you're somebody is hydrating themselves and tossing things into a burning bowl see this fire right here burning and somebody is re somebody is cleansing by the sun so when you, this is fire and this is also fire, right? This is where you say, I'm tossing all that unhealthy, uh, all those unhealthy habits and those things that, that, that toxicity, all of that. And I'm, um, cleansing right here, like sunbathing. I'm cleansing by the sun. I'm getting out in that sunlight. That's how you're hydrating. Cups is water, right? Cups is water, you know? And then we also have the ace of cups, right? So eight and ace of cups. I'm seeing your wishes being fulfilled both in business and also in your personal life. Just because you took that step to say, I need to be in hermit mode, these two cards right here, 
and our this is Gemini, this is Virgo, and they are ruled by Mercury, which is not retrograde currently. Uh, so you're getting very clear messages that when you're away from certain types of energies, you can really process and think and really hear from source within. So like I said, some kind of partnership in business and partnership in love is coming across your path. It's hard to work with energies that is their way or the highway, no matter how passive their actions are. Like they don't hear anything you're saying until they get their way. They're not, they're not willing to compromise in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It's always about for them winning and doesn't matter how much discomfort it causes you. You're done with those types of energies. Done. Don't stay in any spaces in 2024 and beyond where you are miserable. And you've had those conversations about what you need in order to add to your your joy, add to your creativity, your adaptability, your sensuality, your fertility, your emotional range, and your sexuality. But at the same time, ask them what they need, right? Give them a chance to process their response too. And you'll be, I mean, it's going to make a world of difference because you may find out that, hey, people have just been going going at it in a zombified mode, just kind of like just existing. And nobody really knows what they need in order to make them wealthier in those areas, wealthier in joy, wealthier in creativity, wealthier in adaptability. Same in your personal and your professional life. So, yeah. So, yeah. Don't stay in any places moving forward. Source wants you to get your rest. Going from nightmare to finally resting. Rest up. I see a lot of really good opportunities coming across you guys' path because, um, for you all's path, because this is something that you've been praying for. Here we have the Ace of Swords. That's where your breakthrough is going to come in. That's when you're going to realize that when you look back, how many mind games people like to see you play. It's almost like a person playing hopscotch. You get settled on one square and they blow torch the bottom of your feet and you jump to the next square and then to the next and to the next and to the next. All the mind games, all the psychological games. So Source is saying to you, again... If you've communicated what you need from people to add to and not take away from, and it's causing you dehydration, all this extra crying and upset, and I've had the same conversations over and over and over again, then it's time for you to say, okay, I need to take a leap of faith, not a leap of fear, but I need to take a leap of faith and end something. So, yep, two of cups, soulmate energy comes across your path. Soulmate could be a brother, a sister, it could be a, a cousin. It could be, you know, someone who knows exactly what your spirit needs, but you are your first soulmate. You have to know how to communicate to people what you need, not out of anger. When you are cool, calm, and collected, this is what I need from you in order to add to, to add to and not take away from. But you also have to be in receiving mode of what they're saying that they need from you. So if they don't just come out and say it, that's what you say. Okay, now that I've expressed to you what I need, then I need you to tell me what you need. However long that conversation goes, bring a pen and pad, take notes, make sure you repeat back to what the person said to you to make sure you've captured what they said clearly. And by the end of that conversation, some a decision needs to be made. Do we need to go further in business or in love or friendship or family or whatever? Or is this the end of the road? Either way, I'm good. <laughs> Either way, we good. I'm good. I can't speak for them, but I'm good, right? So that's where that's where you that's the energy that you're on now moving forward. But yeah, if you've already moved beyond some things, keep on moving forward. Here we have page of swords so that your anxiety will be going away very soon about some situations. Yeah, here we have the eight of swords. Because otherwise, see how this person right here is sitting on the beach and stressed out. Like, who's doing that? Who's sitting on the beach stressed out? You, I mean, you're surrounded by a body of water. That's salt. That's salt. That cleansing salt water, right? I know it's seawater, right? But still, just the the when you think about salt and water, so if you're thinking about cleansing, right? So yeah, you around this big gigantic body of water of cleansing, spiritual cleansing and healing. That's why people go to the river. That's why people go to the ocean to pray, to send out messages through the air, to source through the messages, through ancestors, all of those things. And so Source is saying, you, moving forward, you don't need to overthink it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, now that this new you, new moon for you, I see you opening up more and having those conversations when you're in spaces before it gets to nightmare. Yeah. Two situations in particular was just a nightmare for you. 
a complete nightmare. And when you look back on how many games the energies were playing, they were, you know, those types of energies are on the same frequency. So even if they don't physically know each other, whether they know each other or not, they're in cahoots because they're on the same frequency. So it is crowded at a low frequency. So when you're on that frequency with them, you really can't hear anything until you get to a higher frequency. So again, this is your year of wealth. You got, you have, you gained a wealth of knowledge. So now apply it so that you can see your paycheck. So you can see your bank account grow. So you can see oppor the um, opportunities to create new opportunities for other people grow as well. You're incredibly smart, but when you're around other people who are forcing you to make some decisions because they jump to conclusions about everything. Okay. You know what? I need time to process things. Right. And so that's what that's what I'm seeing for you. Here are the questions for the moon and Aquarius for those of you all who like the questions. First question is, because this is going to help you to get locked in and laser focused on your purpose. The reason why you're here on this planet and purpose is also the big overarching purpose of all human beings. Because there's still people that say, I don't know why I'm here. I'm not sure what my purpose is, is to help better other human beings lives. First human being would be yourself. To help better your life. You don't have any competition. It's you versus you every single day. It's not you versus your spouse. It's not you versus your manager or director or whomever. It's not you versus your kids. It's you versus you. Not you versus your siblings. It's you versus you. To become better than you were the day before. Uh, to put the effort for. And so everybody has unique gifts and talents that we use to do that. To help change, help better people's lives. But you also have to be in receiving mode. See how this person right here is in hermit mode? This is where you're in receiving mode to receive the instruction from source from within. But when you're around energies that jump to conclusion, it's too busy. It's too much noise down there for you to even hear from source because they're so busy have you in rush mode, negative conversation, negative, and the air is different on that frequency. So the first question for the moon in Aquarius is what can you do to use your passion for serving on a large scale? The second question is, are you creating space for yourself to connect with your inner alchemist and innovator? Third question is, are you ready to think outside the box and delete old beliefs and rules to write your own? The fourth question is using technology, a drain or gain for you. And then last but not least is, are you ready to uh, start a group? in your community to initiate and create positive change on a local or global scale? And then what could the focus be? What could the focus be? Yep, what could the focus be? So now some things are over. Two things that have just kind of been a thorn in somebody's side is over because um, people jump to conclusion. They assume the worst about you, that you're not that smart, that they could, you know, that they can somehow take advantage of you, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You know, they played themselves, you know, that kind of thing. That's behind you. You don't need to sit around and overthink this. You don't need to sit around and overthink is how they're going to retaliate. Re let them for real. Like you put in your energy towards you let you're putting your energy towards your purpose. And that's where the safety is. These two cards right here is the tower card. These two right here are ruled by Mars. These two energies right here are ruled by Mars. Sources and I'm giving you a green light to go ahead and focus on your very rich legacy. And when I say rich, I'm not just talking about uh, for my new people that's joining. I know those of you all who've been with me before know exactly what I talk about when I talk about wealth or riches. I'm not just talking about paper and coins, right? Wealthier in joy, wealthier in career success, tenacity, like wealthier in the the information that the knowledge that you've gained in order to help your community in the world at large and you've been working really really hard at it right so source is saying everything is lining up perfectly for you be very conservative with your time and start focusing on how you want to make an impact on your community in the world at large because somebody has at least eight streams of income in them right and source is the one that's approving it for you here we also have the seven of swords. So it's time to pick up those swords. Anytime you think about this, this is the swords symbolized, right? It's not about somebody else, um, you know, having secrets and what they know and how they're going to use it to try to manipulate people. It's about when you think about them. And this is where, this is where um, you're, this is the, the beauty of getting alone by yourself in hermit mode. And 
tapping in. When you think about their energies, your vibrations go very low. Your thoughts are not the most positive thoughts. That's when you'll know, okay? So you don't have to be struck by lightning before. Oh my God, that's what it was. I think I think when looking at the cards, it's, it, somebody is definitely overcomplicating it, like overthinking it. It's not as, it's not as, um, like I said, it doesn't have to feel like you struck by lightning. You don't have to stay in a, and it's, and, and let me just say this, it would almost be condescending to say it's common sense because it's really not common sense. If it was common, everybody would know it. Like it would be like, everybody would know that sometimes you need a gentle guidance to say a gentle guide to say, this is what it looks like. You know what I'm saying, Capricorn? So don't even beat yourself up because how would you know until you've gone through some things? For real. And so source is saying, take yourself out of nightmares. So before it gets to be a nightmare, start weighing the pros and cons. It's not like you're nitpicking the other energies outside of you. You are assessing your own feelings. How do I feel about this? I thought this was going to be one way. Before you start talking about somebody was wearing a mask and talking to 15 other people about the situation, weigh the pros and cons. Just sit down with a sheet of paper, the pros and cons. Not what they said that you did wrong or whatever the case may be. Full stop. Because if they're saying all of this horrible stuff about you, we need to call a meeting. Let's just call it to order. You know, let's let's get the, you know... <laughs> Robert's rules of order. No, no, let's, let's call a meeting for real. Let's have some time. Let's have some talk time. Cause I, I, let's just put it on the table. Let's just put it on the table. Let's just lay it out how you feel, how I feel. And then let's make a decision from here. Cool, calm and collected, not in an accusatory way. Okay. This is where, so you keep your, like I said, in a, you're ruled by Saturn, um, a planet of maturity and authority. So that's what I see moving forward. That's how you're making room moving forward for this very rich legacy that you have. Don't worry about somebody talking about you, your family, how you were raised, blah, blah, blah. None of that even matters. Sources already approved you for a very rich legacy. They are not your source. They are not your God. While they feel that's between them and their whatever. And that has nothing to do with you. That's outside of your universe. That's outside of your universe. So here we have the six of wands. Here we have the two of coins, the ten of cups. Here we have the ace of wands, the full card, and also the four of cups. I feel like <clears throat> for somebody, not sure, not sure where exactly. I mean, you know, for somebody, here we have the full card. You can continue moving on. With the full card is the zero card in uh, tarot. This is where a person has closed out all, you know, really closed out of cycle. You feel changed, you feel liberated, and you feel free from something, right? And so all you're, you're left with the memories. And so when you say you're forgiving someone, you don't necessarily want to part ways with the memories per se, because you want to remember that type of a spirit, okay? So when you say, I just can't get this energy off my mind, and why is this? You want to remember the spirit. So find a way, even if you're saying, okay, I'm closing, these are the when I weigh the pros and cons, it was just, we were on two different frequencies. Close it out in love. That's going to help heal somebody's mind, body, and spirit, right? Again, as you're moving towards this, a happier household for those of you all who want to be in very happy relationships, right? Don't worry about those energies coming up the back end saying, oh, I know this about uh, Capricorn, I know this about their family. Trust and believe your family don't care. <laughs> your family do not care what secrets some people think that you may have told just because you were blowtorched into saying some things because they already delivered from people's opinions of them. So they don't really care. Um, so you don't have to sit around and overthink. You don't have to sit around and ruminate over some things. Four, two, and ace right, would be seven, right? So somebody is definitely kind of sort of tempted to vibrate on a lower frequency, maybe like, again, get spiritually dehydrated, maybe tempted to go back to drinking or tempted to go back to eating more sugary snacks or more caffeine or whatever the case, because when you are at a higher frequency and you're starting to remember how many games people were playing and their guilt try to maybe sets in like, oh, people try to tell me I didn't listen. I was too afraid to move on and those kind of things, Capricorn. So it's just like, that's a part of the past. Forgive yourself and move on. Move on from that. 
Okay, we also have the Six of Wands, and I see again in, in two situations, you're back in the saddle again, and you're moving forward. Here we also have the Two of Coins, and so Source is saying again, further focus on your double legacy wealth, right, that you've been approved for, right? So everything is lining up for you, and everything is lining up for whoever you're building your legacy with, even if you're single, and it's you and a sibling that's building a legacy, right? Um, if it's you and your significant other that's building a legacy, anybody who has made an effort to, they consciously made an effort to become a new person and purge that old energy, right? And so now your third eye is wide open. Yeah. What I was getting ready to say about, you know, and about somebody's, um, you know, there, there are some family members and loved ones who know what you've gone through, some energies that know what you've gone through and, Source is constantly reassuring them that they don't have to do anything on your behalf to say or do anything on your behalf um, because they too have to be obedient to Source as well. So, yeah, to protect their energy because they too have a, a legacy that they're building as well. So, like I said before, when you're dealing with low vibrating energies that are committed to jumping to conclusions and playing games and stuff with people, you have to learn how to let their element take care of that, right? So if they're in a wilderness situation, trust me, they'll be eaten alive by the energies they're around too. So you have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing to worry about. So, but yeah, two situations, two types of situations are over. Two types of situations are over. They're too busy dealing with their karma to even be concerned with what you're doing. And if they come out, if they come out of the karma anytime soon, and I mean karma in this sense is the energy they sent out against you coming back to hit them. They're so busy dealing with what the energy they've sent out into the universe to try to hurt you and that it came back and bounced back and hit them that they don't even have, they don't even know what's going on, poor things. So anyway, so let's talk a little bit about somebody's soulmate uh, coming in. If, if you desire love, if you desire family situation, if you desire love. So yeah, do a, a deep cleanse. I need to get that energy. If it's an ex, I need to get it completely out of my system. I need to stop talking about them, you know, in a negative sense. I need to recognize, hey, um, it is what it is. And I'm moving forward because when you talk negatively about them, you're picking up everything on that frequency. And it's harder. You get start getting spiritually dehydrated. You know, you, you start getting cotton mouth. You start talking about them, start overthinking them. And then you the large portion of your day is out because now you're spiritually dehydrating yourself. Now you got to go back to all the horrible things they said and did and how many times you should have left and you didn't leave. And now I regret, blah, blah, blah. I wasted time. All of that source is like you spiritually dehydrating yourself. Raise your frequency. Yep, we just weren't on the same frequency and I had to move on. I didn't waste any time. I learned lessons about myself. The end, right? Let's talk about your um, new love. Somebody has a twin flame energy coming in. Okay, y'all coming right off the... Okay, hold on. Five of Pentacles, right? So you're right here at this. Somebody is right here at this where somebody has you all, you know, wrapped up in their arms, looking at you, desirable. They had to put their instrument down to, to connect with you. Y'all all smushed together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> No, you know, so y'all, y'all smush together. Like, you know, this is what somebody desires. Somebody desires to be in a loving relationship where, you know, you're not with someone who talks trash and someone who listens to trash, where somebody can focus on you, you know? And so that's, what's coming your way. That's it. You're right there. Make room for those of you. And again, this is a, this is another part of your reading. Like I said, this is a bonus reading, right? Um, but remember, everything is centered around your purpose, how you can take instructions from source to help better mankind. Everything is centered around that. So you want on the other side of your vault door, for those of you all, that energy knows that. So when you're praying and talking to source and saying, okay, this is what I desire moving forward. I don't want friends and loved ones who are going to talk about me behind my back or people that just sit there and let them talk trash about me behind my back. They're committed to misunderstanding me, how I was raised, those kind of things, right? So yeah. So you and your new person would have gone through some of the same things and you all are really going to be just committed to, to building a very rich legacy together. 
Here we also have the um, Ten of Swords right here. Yep. Look. Y'all have both gone through this. You know, Judas spirits. And so, but now you're recognizing that you were the first Judas spirit to yourself when you didn't speak up in the very beginning. You were one of the energies that caused your own nightmare for not speaking up and letting things get way too far. So that's another thing that you all share in common. Here we also have the Hierophant card here. So... I definitely feel like somebody is definitely sexually free. See these birds out here flying in the air? I feel like somebody is free. I feel like somebody feels a lot more structured, a lot more organized. You know, somebody feels like you can open up and talk to this person without it going somewhere because of their structure and because they've gone through some of the same things. Um, and, and, and so, but again, that takes a process. They are not your God. That's how some people... That's how some people mess up in the very beginning. Oh my God, this is exactly what I needed. And, you know, I've always prayed for somebody like you and all of this. Stuff. So we're not idolizing human beings. That's crazy. Like, so source is saying, look, here we have the five of wands right here, you know. Um, and so in the past, okay, just as so somebody knows, like in the past, what somebody was dealing with is that when you were engaging in your acts, you could have been dealing with somebody who was trying to record you or, you know, trying to use something against you in the past. Again, like I said before, let them fall in their own element, whatever it is. Let them burn themselves, right? You're not afraid. You're not operating in fear. You're operating in faith. This energy right here is not about that. This new energy is not about that. So if you were with somebody... If you think, okay, I wonder if they recorded, I wonder if they had cameras in the house, I wonder if songs, well, they probably did, you know, but again, let them commit some kind of illegal act and just fully pursue it, fully pursue it. Like don't, don't take the, don't take your foot off the gas, fully pursue it. So that's where someone came from. And that's, you know, or like talking to people who record without telling people that they're recording stuff to, to turn around and use it against people. You know, like I said, just can be consistently high vibrational because they will fall into that. Don't become that, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, I'm also seeing the king of pentacles. This energy, like I said, this new energy coming across your path. Like I said, they're not coming across the, your path to be your savior. They are coming across your path to let you know we both have 24 hours in a day. Are we going to waste our time on the past? Did they record the conversation? Did they do this? Did they do that? I don't, I don't know if they can use something against me later on. You know, are they, are they going to use my words against me or did they film something or did they such and such again, let them go ahead and let them go ahead and fall in the same pit they set for you. You're not operating in fear anymore because this new energy, you all are going to be better stewards of your time. That's how you're going to get to being very, very wealthy. And um, if you need to, you definitely have enough money to hire an attorney to stop whatever that's trying to resurface from just very, like I said, people jump into conclusions and just, some of you all have left some horrific situations behind. Here we have the uh, judgment card. Yep. Judgment is definitely coming down on some energies that harshly judged you. Harshly judged you. That's why people were trying to get you by yourself in meetings, trying to get you by yourself in the personal and your professional life to use some things against you. But here we have a breakthrough coming for you. And you'd have to ask yourself, what was the motive? What was the motive? What were they trying to do? I think I mentioned pri previously in another reading, and we also have the Queen of Pentacles, right? You're definitely dealing with some energies who wanted you to bow down to them, right? So when you ask yourself the motive and people use all kinds of um, that's why I talk about spiritual dehydration and flushing it out because you may think, you know, you talk to people who, who like are on medication and then years later when they're off medication, they're like, okay, I didn't remember half of, you know, I didn't remember this. I didn't remember that. And so on and so forth. But you think, okay, you're functional. You were still able to go to work. You were still able to do X, Y, and Z. You were still able to do the same thing with drinking. You still, you think you're still able to, you feel like you're building up a tolerance, but you don't, you don't remember everything. It's a spirit, right? It's a spirit. That's why I call it wine and spirits, right? So again, it's a spirit that has taken over and you were deaf. Somebody definitely came out of a situation where somebody could have, if you were operating in fear, 
use something against you, but you're not operating in fear. You're operating in faith. And so you're going to have to learn how to let that thing consume people. People try to use stuff against people all the time. So, but that's why we have laws, right? And so um, moral laws and state, local, federal laws. So that's why you have laws. <laughs> so that's why sources said, if you're operating in fear, you're attracting more fear. That's why you're moving forward. I see you you with somebody. When you ask yourself, what was the motive of them doing that? Like, why would they why would they do something like that to you? Because somebody felt like you weren't you weren't smart enough. Like, and because you needed some time to process. That's why I said being around loved ones, family is very important to you all. Um, and family could be friends, but you have to set a definition for friend. And like I said, the the new love is going to be completely different than that. But again, something left, something, these things happening uh, for somebody, like I said, now have awakened you, like really awakened you to uh, listening to your intuition. Yeah, so. I was getting ready to tell a little joke, but I also had to be sensitive <laughs> I also have to be sensitive to energies that like, you know, cause it, it's being with somebody who is just devious can be very traumatic. Right. So, but I do try to add a light side to all of the wickedness in the world because it's all energy. Everything is energy. Right. And so if you are sending out messages of fear and doubt and all those other things in source that, um, and that's what you're attracting. So you're going to have to trick your mind into saying, Hey, whatever, whatever I'm moving on from that. I'm moving beyond that. Here we have 28. I'm a leader. So in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. Yep. If they weren't so devious, remember two and eight is 10. 10 is a number for instant manifestation. If they weren't so devious, they could have worked alongside you, but they were too busy trying to get you to bow down to them as if they were your, as if you were their God. Yeah, but it's over. It's over in more ways than you realize. So we'll just leave it at that. Yes, it is over in more ways than you realize. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So anyway, somebody learned their lessons. It's nothing. So it's nothing that somebody needs to be ashamed or embarrassed of, you know, in the in the past at all, at all. Bonfire. That's right. Toss it into a bonfire. Number two, two those two types of energies. It is through remembering that you will wake the ritual of your existence and be reborn in a mighty celebration. You want to remember how treacherous some energies are because somebody may have done the same thing to them that they did to you or they tried to do it. I'm going to say try because it's over. It's over. So you don't need to mourn. You don't need to grieve over it. You don't need to replay it over and over and over again in your mind 10,000 times. That's torture. That's you torturing yourself. Who is in, who's torturing themselves? Who's doing all of that? So anyway, you are not, you are not. So yeah, you got some great opportunities coming your way in love and also in business. And so that's why, um, when I, you know, when you hear stuff like that on social media, like all the things that you wanted to do, like for instance, let me give somebody an example of what I'm talking about. Like a lot of people years ago wanted to be in the music industry, right? Want to be in the entertainment industry. And now you're hearing a lot of stories today where people are like, they had to go through this. They had to do this and that. And that. You think everybody is lying. You think all of them are lying. Absolutely not. Because when you're talking about money and this is the year of wealth where you are going to become wealthier not just um and and um this is a wealth transference happening right and so money can do or just the promise of more money being deposited into some people's bank accounts some people can be bought at a very low price because they they and we're not talking about um because that's how low they feel about themselves 
And so if you don't feel that low about yourself, okay, let's see if we can do something mind altering to bring this person down to a let, let I mean, it, wicked, just very wicked. And it happens in every industry. That's why some of those people that you work with have slept their way to the top because that's how they think of themselves. But that's not how you feel about yourself. You're liberated. You're free. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe that they're you because they're not. If anything, it's a lot of people, I'm telling you, this is the year of wealth and everybody has an opportunity to become wealthier. You already acquired enough wealth and you have a billion dollars worth of whatever the currency is, billion dollars worth of knowledge sitting right here on the table. What are you going to do with it? Because the ultimate goal is to help change other people's lives for the better. When so many other people have taken their wealth that they've acquired, that they've been blessed with and used it to hurt other people. This is a no brainer. Leave the energies behind and keep on moving forward. That's what I have for you all. Hopefully this has been helpful, you know, to you all. But this is again, a bonus reading Capricorn. You don't have anything to worry about. It's already been, they've already been consumed. They too busy trying to fight off their trying to trying to they got themselves entangled in some situations because they didn't believe your ancestors were, were going to come through in the clutch but you had to learn some lessons like for real you had to learn some lessons so very rich legacy here you come i add value to the world this is exactly what i was talking about you add value to the world you don't take away value from the world you got a bunch of zombies walking around like oh my god they got this on me they know that about me they know this and they can use that against me no, learn how to let people's elements consume them for real. When you sit back and you say, wow, I just needed to just just back up from that and just let it consume them because what would it have looked like if some of your ancestors have handled it in the physical realm? Now you be going to visit some people in jail. I mean, you know, it would have just been a whole big mess. So source is saying, learn how to right here, this card right here, one of the first cards that came out right here. Before it even gets to a nightmare. Before it even gets to a nightmare. Because I, I feel like somebody doesn't believe that people can pick up on energy. It, everything is floating through the air. It's floating through the air. It's all energy. So you could be talking to a loved one on the phone and something about the inflection in your voice gives off fear. And your mouth could be saying, oh, no, no, everything is fine. I'm having a great day. And so, and they're not, they're not, they picking up on something else. And you're trying to cover it up and they're like, nah, and it's nagging at them. And to a point, they're going to keep asking you and asking you and asking you. It's a safe space. You can tell me, you can tell me I'm not going to do anything. You can tell me, I promise you, I'm not going to come over there and strangle somebody. You can tell me, you can tell me, you can tell me. And then when you do, they like, okay, it's a safe space. It's not a, I told you so come over here. I got you. So sources saying, don't let things get to a point when it's a, when it's a, it's a nightmare for you. And that's it. That's how you're going to make this a wealthier year. New you, new attitude, new, new, um, new moon, you know, new everything. So this is a year of wealth. You made it to the other side and that's what I have for you. I will see you all on Sunday. Bye.